Maintenance of helicopters is no easy task due to their complexity and the fact that technicians may need to work in environments away from their home base. The NTSB has learned many lessons related to maintenance through our investigations. I know if we can share this information, we can prevent accidents. Proper maintenance is where the safety of any flight begins. Maintenance personnel provide a critical component to the continued safety of helicopter operations, whether it is a HEMS flight or a student pilot out on a first solo cross country. The job of maintenance technicians is not easy. Working in a variety of environmental conditions under the demands to complete the required tasks, maintenance personnel must not only complete the job correctly, but also do it efficiently and within the framework of their company operating standards. I investigated a sightseeing helicopter accident involving an in-flight disconnect of the servo on the main rotor control system of an A-Star. Following the disconnect, the helicopter was uncontrollable and the pilot and four passengers sustained fatal injuries. While working with the human performance investigator, we found that maintenance personnel were reusing degraded hardware and a cotter pin was either incorrectly installed or not installed at all. The maintenance crew had been called in on the day off and worked an early morning shift instead of their regularly scheduled afternoon shift. Through review of maintenance personnel's activity, we found that the inspector involved was experiencing fatigue. As a result of the investigation, the NTSB issued several recommendations to the FAA. We wanted to prevent similar accidents from occurring. First one related to duty time regulations for maintenance personnel, encouraging the use of work cards for maintenance tasks performed under parts 135 and 91, and finally, requiring human factors training for personnel performing maintenance or inspections. I also worked as the maintenance investigator for a HEMS positioning flight where the pilot and two medical crew members were fatally injured in an A-Star. A-Star had recently undergone maintenance to the engine. The technician from the repair station was called in to perform the work, and he was also tasked with an additional engine having the same problem. He worked with the operator's mechanics and forgot to torque critical B-nuts securing the fuel inlet union to the engine. He was also inspecting his own work. The NTSB also found that the post-flight maintenance check was not completed in accordance with the manufacturer's procedures. What normally should take 30 to 45 minutes was conducted in 7.5 minutes. If this checked flight had been performed correctly, the loss of engine power would have likely occurred over the airport and the helicopter would have been operating at a much lower weight. When the B-nuts backed off during flight, the engine lost power and the landing areas were limited. One of my colleagues investigated an accident involving a student pilot on a cross-country solo in a Schweitzer 269. The engine lost power shortly after takeoff and the student was seriously injured. The investigator found that the engine and magnetos had been overhauled 129 hours prior to the accident. The technician that completed the most recent 100-hour and annual inspections did not conduct proper maintenance of the magnetos and incorrect hardware was used to install them. Had the manufacturer's procedures been followed, the errors would have likely been detected before the loss of engine power occurred. So what can maintenance personnel do to prevent accidents? First, review the human performance errors associated with aviation maintenance. Remember that even well-meaning, experienced aviation maintenance technicians can make mistakes. There are many free online training resources available. It's also important to ensure that maintenance technicians receive adequate training so that they have the skills necessary to complete maintenance tasks. Obtain factory training, and if training is on the job, verify that the procedures being taught are consistent with what the manufacturer specifies. Encourage the use of work cards in your company to assist maintenance personnel in confirming that maintenance steps involving critical components were performed and completed. This will also help in ensuring the safety and security of items that have undergone maintenance, as well as those surrounding components that may have been disconnected. Obtain independent inspections of critical items that have undergone maintenance. Even in small company operations, providing this extra set of eyes can detect simple maintenance errors. Verify that all work was performed in accordance with the manufacturer's procedures and worked with flight check pilots to establish that all appropriate checks are completed correctly. These procedures and checks establish layers of safety that can detect maintenance errors before accidents occur. I think it's important to remember that none of the maintenance personnel involved in these accidents intended to make errors, and we all know that it is usually not one error that results in an accident, but multiple missteps over time that lead to a tragic event. 
From my perspective as an investigator, the last thing that I want to see is an accident that is similar to one that has happened before. But at the same time, as a pilot and mechanic, I know that any of us are capable of making mistakes. By understanding the context and details of the maintenance errors identified in these events, I hope that we can help maintenance personnel recognize potential safety issues before these issues become accidents.